What's up, YouTube? Erod 212 here with another video. So I went to a local show, and you won't believe what Major Grail was at this show. All right. So uh, went to the local uh, Elks Lodge show this weekend and there were books to be had there some fantastic books but i saw a major grail so one of the vendors i know there started talking to me and he goes hey did you see that book he just got there and he showed me the book um you're gonna see it in the footage um as soon as you see the book you're gonna know what book it is it is the marvel grail in my opinion but uh this book allegedly had been on american pickers and uh, this dealer was somehow able to acquire this book. It looked really, really nice. But let's take a look at the show floor.
right, so did you see what I'm talking about? Yep. Not that book, but the predecessor for this. Amazing Fantasy 15 was at this show. This is a small Elslog show, and there's an Amazing Fantasy 15 there. Amazing. Just mind-boggling. Beautiful, beautiful show. Beautiful book, beautiful show. But uh, let me show you what I got. So uh, picked up a copy of Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man number nine, first appearance of the White Tiger in comic books. Uh, he is, has his first appearance is in uh, Deadly Hands of Kung Fu, book you don't see too often. Uh, the Witcher, number one. Um, and the series was good. Season two is coming. I believe they signed up for multiple seasons. But this is a book to be looking for. Uh, it's been good. A uh, book that I think still hasn't peaked um, is Black Widow, number one. First, Yelena Belova went to see Black Widow opening night. And I loved it. Uh, fight sequences were fantastic. This book here, uh, I think, has room to grow. Lots of room to grow, especially if Feige and Marvel have good plans for Yelena Belova, which it looks like they are. Um, this book here, I'm starting to becoming one of those books I'll take in any grade. Movies coming up, but not even for the movie, just the book itself. Uh, G.I. Joe 21. The silent issue uh, has some tanning along the sides, but other than that, this book is really nice, real, real nice. So, nice pickup. Um, so, the vendor that had the uh, Amazing Fantasy 15 had amazing books. You, you look at his wall, and you just see some great, great books. Uh, I purchased one book from him, gave me a good price on it, and it's this and that's Thundercats number one, but the new stand edition. Uh, this has one color breaking tick, but if you haven't seen what the book goes for now, the new stand edition of this book is going for nine eight nine six nine four. Uh, it's unbelievable. Some big boy numbers right now. This book is blowing up. So really happy to get that. And then the last book I got, um, I'm big into this book here. I know Biggie's is big into this. This was a Manny NYC book for many years. Uh, Mr. Miracle, number one. So another book, I think uh, if they do that fourth world and all of that Kirby goodness, uh, Granny goodness, and uh, Big Barda and everything that comes with this, boom tubes, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, you know, because he has direct ties to Dark Side and everything else. But yeah, small hole, but I think uh, great quality. And I got to see an AM, uh, Amazing Fantasy 15 live and in person at a show, small show. That's about it for now. Let me know what you guys think. So my next video, peace.